What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the past series here on Fox Sports 1. We are at Bristol Motor Speedway. Oh, yeah. It's Bristol, baby. This is, uh... This, this race can either go one of two ways. It can either be one of the most exciting races on the schedule or one of the most boring. We're about to find out here in just a second at the last great Coliseum. I have got a sneeze. Hold up. Okay, I am back. Uh, green flag is in the air. We are racing from Bristol. Josh Krug, your pole sitter, is going to jump off to a... Try to jump off to a lead. Here comes Jerry Cook off the outside, though. Side by side down the back straightaway for the first time. Entering three and four. And now Cook comes off the top side. He's going to lead lap number one. Hops down in front of that 23 car now. Krug slides up, overcooked the corner a little bit, had to slide up to avoid running into that 97. Now trying to get into a groove here. We got two grooves. The bottom, the preferred line, the top gets a good uh, good run on exit. So the lanes are pretty much even. It's up to the drivers to decide which lane they want to run, but usually you'll see everybody just kind of migrate down to the bottom. head through and looks like we're keeping it clean for now. Three wide further back. McDowell trying to work his way up through the pack. Didn't qualify too well. So trying to work his way towards the front here. Off turn two down the back stretch. That's Deborah Renshaw and Justin Allgaier stop. Whoa, here comes Brian Silas. What a move from Silas there to the inside, taking him three wide here at Bristol. That was a really risky move, but he's going to make it work as he clears Allgaier, and now he's going to clear Deborah Renshaw. What a move by Brian Silas. Now side by side between Renshaw and Allgaier still, their battle continues, but Silas able to gain two spots there. Now looking for more as he gets up behind Tim Andrews in the 56 Dodge machine. Dominic Casola trying to hang on to his spot. He's got Graham behind him in the 62. Side by side, here comes Brian Silent, bro. <laughs> he must, he must have some other plans tonight. He is on a mission, absolutely flying through the pack, and I think he's trying to hurry up and get this race over with as quickly as he can because that car is flying. Must be... Must have some dinner plans tonight or something. I don't know. Meanwhile, Justin Ashburn, Justin South, Travis Quapple, and... Josh Crew are in front of these guys. The top three are Brian Kislowski. Kale Gale has somehow gotten up in the second. And your leader is Jerry Cook in the 97. Now Cook, we saw him debut on the road courses last season here in the past series. Now running full time for Mac Motorsports here. Trying to defend for the lead here at Bristol. Gabe Kale Gale the inside gonna try to roll the top here the longer way around but gets better momentum off corner exit can he use that to his advantage I don't think he can he's gonna have to surrender the spot to Kale Gale here Kale Gale just too strong down there on the bottom that top side just hasn't really come in well aside from on the initial start there so that's that'll be interesting to watch for the race goes on but it's time for us to take our first break of the day we'll be right back after this welcome back to bristol motor speedway here in the past series we are under caution and let's see what it's for some multi-car wreck two cars i believe bill baird and in the nine of matt hagan's involved in that one there in turn three and then look at look out they are stacking up trying to avoid them here they race back around to the caution flag. 
looked like everyone was going to be able to get through. But then I heard some stacking up under caution there as well. So that, that'll that be strange. Interesting to see what comes to that. But anyways, lab cars trying to drop through the field and get to the back of the pack. You know what that means. It is time to go racing once again here. So the green flag is about to fly. Here we go, green flag. Back in the air, Jerry Cook with a great jump on the high side. Completely clears the 33 car before we even get down into turn one. Kale Gale did not get going at all there. Cook now trying to defend. Kale Gale has a stronger car. Gets right up on the back bumper at 97. Caution is out once again. We got multiple cars around in turn number three. Caution is out. And it looks like Chuck Barnes Jr. as well as the 61 of Stephen Wallace and another car got tangled up on the back stretch there. Let's see what happened. Three wide bars in the middle and it just doesn't work out. Another car. It looks like Jennifer Jo Cobb was caught up in it, but she gets through and Tim Mitchell gets some damage in that 06 car as well. He already had damage from checking up under caution, but he's got more damage on that car now. So yeah, there's that. Here we go. Jerry Cook, your leader. Kale Gale in second. Pace car is in. Here we go again. Green flag back in the air. This time Kale Gale gets the great jump. And he's going to look to run away with it here. Jerry Cook. It looks like the inside just doesn't get going well here. Jerry Cook on the bottom. Didn't get a great restart. Trying to hang on. Oh, look out. Almost chopped the nose of the 29 and Kislowski. Brian Kislowski is going to take the position. He sneaks in a second. Here comes Brian Silas taking third away. He's trying to sneak underneath that 97. Jerry Cook stuck on the high side trying to fight back, but there's just nothing for him up there. He cannot get that top side to roll long enough for him to hang on to spots. So side by side throughout the field, the further back you are and the more checking up there is, the more that outside line will benefit you. But these guys are in clean air. I don't think that high line is going to help too much. Jerry Cook, though, holding his on up top. Looks like he's still trying to just somehow fight his way back into third place here. Brian Silas doing everything he can on the bottom, just being smooth. Jerry Cook doing everything on the, on the top that he can, trying to get that momentum going. And it looks like he might have him cleared here. No, Silas drives it in deep. They both go up the racetrack. Brian Silas about wrecked the both of them there, trying to keep his nose underneath that 97. And he somehow did. Luckily, Cook saw the move coming somewhat there, gave him enough room, and they managed to not wreck. I'm not sure how. And Cook, I think, is just going to give him the spot at this point. He says it's not worth it. Doesn't want to get taken out. He's got a good run going so far. Just wants to take the points and go home after that bonsai move from the 11. Meanwhile, out in front, Kale Gale is in a land of his own, driving away from everybody else here. 29. Brian Kislowski for a career best second place finish here. Okay, so as we settle in here, we go for the roundy round camera here right in the middle of the racetrack. You get to see from a pretty decent view high up in the sky on the scoreboard hanging in the middle of this track here well we got a crazy battle here coming off turn number two McDowell oh my goodness risky move from McDowell there but he's trying to work his way up into the top well into the top ten he's barely inside the top ten now he's trying to get some more spots and he's gonna be able to clear all these guys because by the 62 and it's gonna secure seventh place for him there Matt McCall trying to work his way into the top 10 here as well. Side by side with Dominic Casola in that one machine. Casola stuck on the high side. Cannot get it to roll 
and he is going to lose that spot. Hops back in line behind the 55 of McCall. Jerry Cook just kind of vibing right now. Well, ain't really much to say right now. Because K.O. Gale is putting the whooping on the field here. He gets to 15 laps to go here from Bristol. He's catching the tail end of the field. So things might get interesting here if he gets slowed down, slowed down any. Brian Kozlowski only a second, only about two seconds back. It's not too much of a difference here at Bristol as small of a racetrack as it is. I mean, yeah, it can be a pretty big difference, but you can make that up in a heartbeat. And as you see, Kale Gale being hailed, hailed up right now, side by side in front of him, two lap cars, the 61 of Stephen Wallace, the 06 of Tim Mitchell. Side by side in front of your leader, holding him up big time here. Kale Gale has nowhere to go. He's going to have to wait for this battle to settle down here. Well, wait, waiting for these guys to settle it out, but man, he does not have much time to to wait. He doesn't have much time to be patient because Brian Kislowski is coming and he's coming fast. He is taking half a, half a second. Half a second off in that last lap he's taking another half a second off this lap he is almost here he's right there he's right behind the 33 these two now single file in front of kale gale kale trying to figure out how to get past stephen wallace here trying to get his nose underneath wallace trying to get back at that 06 it's just nowhere for him to go right now he's trying to get underneath but he's still being held up brian silas reeling these two in as well but here comes Brian Kislowski. Kale Gale trying to hang on to the lead. He's being attacked by two Bryans here. Brian Kislowski, Brian Silas, both coming for him here in the closing in the coming in the closing laps at Bristol Motor Speedway. Oh, looked like he was finally going to pull to his inside there. Couldn't quite. And they are still side by side, or still nose to tail, single file. 29 gonna pull up the racetrack gonna try something different here couldn't quite get it to work caution is out we got a crash couple cars upside down all guyers one of them what in the world is going on here we got cars inside of, oh I know what it is a very strange glitch and uh, the game is considering the car is to be on pit road right now and it's that points where it's they're on pit road then not at not on pit road because of that you know how it loops around the entire track so it's weird but man some cars just went inside of each other and then i have it set to where they can't hit each other on pit road so they went inside each other and then suddenly they were able to hit each other again and that's what caused them to pop up like that they were getting stuck in each other and colliding that, that was really weird jerry cook is gonna lose a ton of spots because of that he got stuck on pit road had to finish that lap at pit speed and then stopped in his box since he was down there anyway he got some damage in that as well let's see what happened here to justin allgaier some wild stuff here from bristol They just go up into the wall, and then everybody behind just starts piling in, and they just get toppled over on their roofs. And, oh, Brian Kislowski and Kale Gale got caught up in it. 
Brian Keselowski's car is destroyed. Keselowski. Jerry Cook. I mean, a lot of the leaders that were running so well are out of it. And now Travis Quapple is in second place. Where's that 99 at? There he is. Travis Quapple moves up in the second. What in the world is happening here? Okay. All right, boys. Here we go. It'll be a one-lap shootout. Green and white flags will be displayed together. One lap. One attempt. Whatever happens, happens here. But this restart will end it. Pace car is in. We're about to finish things off from Bristol. Green flag back in the air. It's Quapple and Silas side by side for the lead. All of your leaders were taken out by lap traffic. So now, it is a dead heat side by side for the win here. Brian Silas inside. Travis Quapple outside at the line. Who's it going to be? I think it was Brian Silas. And it was. We got a bunch of cars slow here. I think we might have had a wreck. Caution lights are on. I think we did have a crash. Travis Quapple came oh so close. Came just short getting the win here from Bristol. But it wasn't enough. Wow. What a race. What a finish. And Brian Keselowski found himself in some more trouble here. On the final lap. Let's see what happened to him. This gets dumped by the 06 of Tim Mitchell. Up into the outside wall. And then here comes Jennifer Joe Cobb and everybody else. Nowhere to go. They're going to have to go on pit road. That's why we saw a bunch of cars in the pits there. Man. Wow. What just happened? I have no idea, but things things can happen like that, and things change fast here at Bristol, so that's just part of it. That's going to do it. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe. We'll see, we'll see you all next time. Until then.